If you have an instrument with a barrel type jack, they're very convenient for running the cable through your scrap and into the base, but they're not quite as robust as normal jacks because all of that mechanism has to be installed in a smaller space. So when they get noisy, remove your control cover. If your base is active, obviously disconnect the battery and put some tape around the paint so that you don't scratch it accidentally. Now you have to loosen the nut on the jack and in this case it's a very very tight control cavity so it's a little difficult to do. However once uh, you loosen it off a bit you can take it off by finger and I leave the nut and the washer on those cables because essentially I know that the replacement is the same thread. If it's not, you pull the cables back through once you've desoldered them and run the new nut and the washer onto those cables first and then poke them back through the hole to resolder. If you forget that, you will have no means of tightening the new jack back into the base. I usually take a picture so I remember where the cables go, but I've done this quite a few times over the years. This tang on the replacement is a little long and the cavity is very tight. So I'm just going to nip off that end that is designed to crimp down on the cables because I don't need it. Essentially, they don't move inside the cavity. So there's no problem with not having that. And you can slightly bend out the two longer uh, tabs just so that it makes it easier to solder the cables onto the inside side of them. Now these two cables are both earth, so they go to the long tag on the plug, or the socket rather. I resolder the cables exactly the way that they were. And then pull the cables back through so you don't pinch them. Insert the new barrel jack into the hole. And now you need to slide back the washer and the nut. And as you can see in this cavity, it is a very, very tight fit. So it takes a little bit of fiddling to get the nut started on the barrel. And once you've got the first thread or so on there, you can just finger tighten it the way I'm doing here. And then you need to hold the barrel jack while you tighten the nut and you need to tighten it so that it doesn't spin. And then the nut will loosen off if it does that and just roll around the cavity, which is not good. Remove the protective tape, replace the cover, and then you're pretty much ready to go. Let's check it out. No noise? Yep. All good. Great job.